Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here with Keystone Mountain Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what we're going to be talking all about is this can that you see right here. This is the 6-Hour SRD 22X. Getting right into it, the 6-Hour SRD 22X is a pretty small, lightweight, yet durable 22 can. It features a titanium tube and 17.4 heat-treated stainless steel baffles. The really nice thing about those baffles being 17.4 is cleaning these, which with a rim fire suppressor is very, very important and should be high on your priority list. Cleaning a 17.4 baffle is as simple as throwing it in a wet tumbler or an ultrasonic cleaner and walking away. It's going to pretty much take care of it for you. There are some 22 cans out there that feature aluminum baffles and you're going to save a little bit of weight. However, you're going to have to clean those by hand or utilize specialty cleaning methods to actually get those baffles cleaned. Kind of annoying, kind of a little bit of an inconvenience and that's why generally I recommend people to stay towards the 17.4 baffles unless you're one of those guys that never shoots. If you never shoot and you're just buying it for looks, go ahead and get yourself an aluminum can. It won't really matter much to you. Right, so for a little bit of a frame of reference, I have five CCI Quiet 22s loaded up. We're going to shoot these five and then I'm going to purposely dry fire the gun just for comparison's sake. These things are silly quiet. That was a dry fire. Getting into some of the specifications of this can, it comes in at 5.2 ounces and 5.8 inches long. It's about one inch in diameter, and as said, titanium tube, 17.4 M baffles. The cool thing about the baffles being M baffles, and yes, that means exactly what you think it means, they look like the letter M, is the baffles form an internal kind of tube inside of a tube. And what that allows this can to do is to keep a lot of the debris, a lot of the soot, a lot of the carbon inside the baffles. So that way, whenever it comes time to take this thing apart, you don't have to beat on your baffles to get them out. The baffles will just slide real easy out. And for the most part, the inside of this tube looks brand new. The baffles are really the only thing that starts to hold the debris, the dirt, all that stuff. Now, as far as cleaning the suppressor, you're going to want to clean your 22 suppressor. I recommend every 500 to 1,000 rounds or so. You could go longer intervals before cleaning a 22 suppressor, but what I find is whenever you do go to clean it, it's a lot harder and takes a lot longer. For example, even using something like a wet tumbler, you're going to have to run it for a couple cycles if you put 1,500 to 2,000 rounds through it. Whereas 500 to 1,000 rounds, one cycle through a wet tumbler with some Dawn dish soap and stainless steel pins, and it comes out looking pretty much brand new which is really good now another thing i want to talk about here would be overall like suppression of this thing obviously it's a suppressor so the number one thing that most people are going for is how does it actually suppress the sound that's the most important thing to a lot of guys and i think this can just being honest with you guys it's kind of above average middle of the road i would say this can is not the best 22 long rifle can in terms of sound suppression. It's nowhere near a dead air mask, a rugged Oculus, or a Silence Coast Switchback. Those are kind of the three benchmark 22 cans that I recommend people. The dead air mask is my kind of overall personal favorite. The SIG SRD 22X, it fills a niche because it's a little bit lighter than those three. All three of those suppressors are going to be in the neighborhood of six and a half ounces, whereas this one comes in just over five ounces. Generally, whenever you step down to a four or a five ounce 22 suppressor, you're talking about something with the aluminum baffles, which, as we mentioned, are going to be harder to clean. You're going to have to hand clean those or find some sort of other cleaning method other than the automated methods of wet tumbling or ultrasonic cleaning. So you're getting a lighter weight suppressor that's still gonna give you baffles that are easy to clean. So that's kind of the advantage to the SIG. It's also pretty simple. It's a basic clip cone and baffle design. The baffles don't orient, which is both a pro and a con. It's real easy to put together. However, the negative aspect of that is whenever you take the suppressor apart, 
clean the baffles and stick them back in here, there's no telling how those baffles are going to orient. So what you can find is if you're running this on like a precision bolt rim fire, like I do oftentimes, you'll find that you'll have some point of impact shift and it's kind of inconsistent whenever you take the baffles out, hodgepodge them, clean them, all that stuff, and then put them back in because they never index the same way. That's something that the other three suppressors, the mask, Oculus, and Switchback, those baffles are all indexing and they, they clip together and that's going to allow them to be consistent. You can line up the clips and the cones on the same spot of the suppressor tube and that way every time you take the suppressor off and on, you're not going to get drastic point of impact shifts. Enough about that. Moving on, some other calibers that this thing is rated for would be 17 HMR, 17 Winchester Short Magnum, 22 Magnum, as well as 5728. I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't ran it on any calibers other than 22 Long Rifle. That's just kind of because I don't really feel a need to. 5728 is a pretty cool caliber. However, I don't have much experience with it. I don't own any, and I don't really have the desire to own any. But if you do own one, rest assured that you can run this can on that gun. So before we wrap up the video, something that I definitely have to hit on is first round pop with the suppressor. First round pop is something that I find is a far bigger issue with rimfire suppressors than just about any other category of suppressors out there. 22 long rifle sounds absolutely phenomenal, but one of the downsides to it is you can really start to notice first round pop whenever you get cans that are this quiet. Now, in the case of the SIG SRD-22X, the SRD-22X, I would say that it does a pretty good job. It's average kind of middle of the road in terms of first round pop on a rifle. Whenever we talk first round pop on a pistol, I tend to notice it to be more of a bigger issue across the board. And in the case of the SRD-22X, I would say it's kind of average. It's definitely not the worst that I've ever heard, but it's definitely not nowhere near as good as say a dead air mask or a rugged oculus those two cans really start to pull themselves away in terms of the first round pot those two cans do a really phenomenal job now again this can's about an ounce and a half lighter so there is definitely pros and cons to this versus them but in terms of strictly talking first round pot this can's going to be a little bit louder especially on a pistol in terms of that in terms of overall sound suppression this can's comparable to those two but those two, if you really want to get nitpicky and you really can listen and really sort out the details, those two cans definitely tend to sound a little bit better across the board. However, this can's pretty good. This can is good enough to the point where whether I'm shooting it on a pistol or a rifle, even factoring in that first round pop, I personally never wear hearing protection while shooting this thing. So kind of summarizing the SIG SRD-22X, this is a pretty middle of the road above average 22 can. It comes to market around 400 bucks. Now I got this thing a couple years back, I wanna say four or five years ago at this point. And I got this as a result of a promo. So Silencer Shop had a promo going on where if you bought any of the SIG rifle cans, you could get this 22 can for 100 bucks. So it was kind of a no brainer whenever I bought my SRD 762 to go ahead and grab this for the $100. And for the $100, I feel it definitely lived up to the value. However, given current market prices, I looked on Silencer Shop's website prior to filming this, and Silencer Shop has these things in stock and are selling them for $400. For $400, you could spend an extra 20 bucks and get a dead air mask or spend a couple extra dollars. I can't remember how much an Oculus costs these days, but you could get the rugged Oculus and then for about 450, I think is what the switchback runs. So if it were me, honestly, I would get one of those three over this unless weight is something that's very, very important to you. If you want to sacrifice the little bit of first round pop to get something that's going to be a little bit lighter and balance a little bit better on a pistol, then I would say the SRD 7.62 might be something worth looking into. Also to mention, SIG is a company that's going to be around for years and years. So if God forbid you ever have any baffle strikes or any warranty issues, SIG should be around and hopefully is going to be able to take care of you with this can. SIG's changed their rifle suppressors a couple times over the past couple years, but their rimfire suppressor pretty much seems to stay the same. I'm not sure that they're going to be introducing a new rimfire suppressor anytime soon, but however, watch me say that and then them announce a new can next week. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or you guys want to share your experience with this suppressor or any other 22 suppressors or anything for that matter, definitely feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. We also have an Instagram page set up for the channel. So if you want to go over there and give us a follow, you'll be able to see stuff before it hits the channel, see stuff while I'm testing it and playing around with it guys i appreciate all the support that's been coming into the channel you guys are absolutely awesome as always remember to train hard shoot fast and most importantly be safe god bless